Next up, we have Mike Helbing. He's an artist and recycled metal sculptor whose work has been exhibited throughout the United States. Currently serves as chairman of the board for the National Veterans Art Museum. He'll be presenting Mike's Universe, The Quest and Its Aftermath. Uh, uh, this is an image uh, found out about uh, six years ago that I had throat cancer, and, it kind of, and then they worked on it, and it was okay. But at the time, I didn't know that was going to be the outcome. Uh, so I started on a series that was completely different than a lot of the works I ever did before. And this is called the Before the Beginning. Uh, it's about the universe. This is the next panel was the birth of the universe. Sometimes you can, depends on how you want to put it. But it's like, eh, you know, got started, and we're here. Uh, stainless steel, patina, and that's a long 20 seconds. This is the uh, life of the universe. It's kind of like, so you have these panels, and they're, they're not real big. They're only like, you know, like that. Uh, and it has Cartesian grid on it, and some dots. Some other stuff coming out. This is pretty. I like pretty things. Um, this is called uh, the fourth panel of it. It's called Quest for Understanding. It's kind of like, okay, now that you're in the universe and you know about it, what the hell is it? I don't know. But we, as humans, we keep looking for it. So it's kind of like, you know, you take some found parts and you kind of make a little hand like thing. This is the end of the universe. Uh, it's like after all the energy's gone, and it's cold and dark, and it's called rain and bone. So it's like tumbling through cold space, and eh, it's still pretty, but nobody can see it, uh, except us. Uh, this is one of the, at the time, a traditional piece. It's down at uh, a university, or college actually, down in middle Illinois. Uh, it's called Prairie Flower. It's kind of like a ghost image left over what the prairie was before it got drained and all gridded in agricultural land. Uh, this is a piece uh, was uh, conceived after seeing a dying Portuguese man of war on Cape Cod. It's called the Cloud of War. It's kind of like, uh, you know, a uh, little threatening but very beautiful. A lot of people like war. This is a drawing sketch for a series of uh, basically rain clouds and cycle and water and evaporation and natural elements and how it all kind of cycles around. I uh, started doing a series of uh, wet works. <clears throat> this was a found object that I found on the Ike going home one day. It was a heat shield from somebody's car. It just looked really neat, so then I went back got some other parts, started adding things, and boom, I had a nice piece, which eventually ended up in uh, Montreal. Um, still there. This is vertical. Uh, it's supposed to be the other way. I mean, this is, anyway, it is called, uh, it's made out of hubcaps and other found metal. It's called Road Trip Rocket 88, like, you know, 1958, we got Oldsmobile and on and down the road. Now, this is supposed to be vertical. Uh, <laughs> it's called Warrior. No, Amy did a great job. I, uh, I just made these and took the photographs. She put them in order. Uh, but this is, if you take it vertically, it's kind of like a somewhat Greekish looking old guy. Uh, this is one of the early cloud series. It's called Joe's Cloud. Uh, it's called Joe's Clock because my son liked it. Uh, his name's Joe. And, but it's to capture mist and rain and cloud and nothingness with something. Uh, this one's called Fog Machine. Uh, it's kind of like, you know, you got a mist rising up out of uh, someplace. That thing. And it's uh, <clears throat> stainless steel mesh and screen. And, pieces of stuff I found. Uh, this one's kind of a nice thing. It's uh, about a 11 feet. The door here is scaled, about seven. Um, it's called Mike's Place. 
So you could go inside, and then it's kind of got a ring that's kind of like an observatory, so you can look up the sky, or not. Uh, this is called Medusa's uh, hairdo. It's a fountain uh, that's this is 30 foot in diameter, and that's about, eh, I don't know, 20 some feet high, uh, 6,000 gallons a minute. And it's down at Austin P. State University. It's all recycled. This is it running. Um, it's kind of like Medusa. Got her hair done, and she's happy. She's gone out for the night and spitting venom everywhere. <laughs> well, it's really neat to see. And then as you walk around it, it really sounds like a flood. Uh, this is Mike's pantry. Um, <laughs> It's kind of a tree shape that's made out of uh, pots and pans. Um, there's so much stuff that we throw away that it's like, wow, I don't have to make this. I just gather it, and I weld it all together, and it's like, neat. Uh, this one here is Mike's rain tree. This is taken down at the uh, Lincoln Park Conservatory uh, last fall, uh, since 2,000 gallons, 2,000 gallons an hour. Um, but it sounds like a rainstorm, and it's based on mangrove and other stuff. Last one, this is a uh, wall heater made out of a waffle iron and uh, Pyrex lids and knives and forks. Technically, really, it's upside down. Because the cord goes down. But anyway, uh, <laughs> it actually works. You can put it on the wall. Uh, this is the I'm doing this one for Lakeshore, it's called a light fountain. And the light comes out of there and that's like a, about this high, that big around. And uh, it's just kind of a fun thing to look at. It cycles through various colors. And that's going to be done 